oh upper spring cave oh the deeper parts of the uh parts of the dungeon i know i missed a decent bit in a uh, bit in chat there during the cutscene, so now i'm i'm a little bit lost but it seems like discussion is about like game corner and uh removal of stuff like that which like you know i guess it makes sense with new modern standards and such but at the same time it's definitely kind of disappointing hey look stairs i love stairs um Apparently loot boxes aren't gambling because you always get something you can't lose technically But if a fictional casino that uses fictional money that's bought with another kind of fictional money you can't have that Yeah, so I guess well You can't not gain something, but you can gain something that's of lesser value than you paid for Or something that's of more value than you paid for so I'd say that it still technically should be right I guess just not to uh whoever defined that I guess or whatever the heck um but yeah wait did it or i guess there's a yeah there's a situation with a good old pixel on which again like if uh for anybody who doesn't know it's an nft meta quote unquote metaverse project that i did a video essay on semi recently that i'd highly recommend checking out um and it's not to be confused with the minecraft mod which they probably just took the same name of just to like appear in common search results if i had to guess um most likely that was one whole heck of a situation and I swear, if that team hears about my video I did on them, I would probably get banned from their, uh, no, from their server so dang fast. But yeah, definitely hung out in the Diamond Pearl game corner just to listen to the music before. I don't know if I have with Diamond and Pearl, but I definitely have with Heart Gold and Soul Silver. That I definitely have done before, just hanging out there and doing the, uh, the Voltorb flip. Was it even called like a game corner in, uh, in heart gold and soul silver or was it just called like the place where there's the voltorb flip or whatever the heck um wait hunter I'm going to apprehend you this time believe me eh, you again you're persistent have you forgotten that i'm invincible invincible or not doesn't matter i am i'm going to arrest you is that simple <laughs> i've seen explorers like you before the persistent explorers who try to challenge me over and over again Big deal. Might be a huge shock even for you, but it doesn't matter how hard you try. There's no way you can succeed. No possible way. So let's go. But yeah, I think it was still the game corner, just with not Minesweeper. Gotcha, gotcha there. Gotcha, gotcha there. Um. Oh yeah, I guess uh, I guess the uh, game corner in previous Pokemon games wouldn't technically constitute gambling, but I think it just having like theming based off of you know, real gambling and just having like that aesthetic is probably more than they were comfortable doing. I actually worked at a casino for a little while. Fun fact, um, about two weeks while I was working, I was working for an IT company that does IT work for different various companies. So I would be assigned to different projects and different, uh, different groups during different spans. And one of those two week spans was working for a few different casinos. And my good gracious, it is like one of the flashiest places that I've ever, that I've ever been around. I do have to, uh, I do have to say so many bright lights all over the place. It was a, it was certainly something, it was a very interesting environment to be working in. Like, again, it was a very short time that I was working there, just a couple of weeks, but it was a very interesting environment there. One of the, uh, one of the really interesting things that I noticed while I was working there is that the majority of people that, you know, go there to gamble are mostly mostly seniors and the person that i was working with and helping out there had pointed that out to me and it was and he had given me his explanation for why that is he said like when when you're young when you're like a kid then you have lots of time and lots of energy but no money when you're an adult you have lots of money and lots of energy but no time and when you're old, you have lots of money and lots of time, but no energy. And gambling doesn't exactly require a whole lot of energy. So that was his explanation for why there's a lot of there was a lot of seniors that would go there because a lot of a lot of seniors that are just kind of bored and don't really have anything else to do and just decide to go have some fun with some gambling with the uh, with what they made over the course of their lifetimes. You know, so that was something that was something that I found very interesting about working at a working at a casino. But anyway, that's, uh, that's either here nor there. Anyway, I managed to knock him out, but Oh my gosh Again? I really thought I knocked him out this time 
Doesn't matter how many times you knock me out. Your efforts are useless. I'm invincible. Why? Why is it? Why is it Hunter is still so full of energy even after being knocked out? Oh, noes. Where, Luigi? What is it? These are Slugma. I thought you'd keep following me, so I hired them in advance. They are fire type Pokemon. Fire type? <laughs> <laughs> they can burn you with their fire or their words. See ya. <laughs> hey, don't run away. Oh no. Was I unprepared? Oh my gosh, I got burned. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> I, just, I just imagined that one guy from... <laughs> you, you know the meme, right? Anyway, well... Uh... Although even during the cutscene, it falls like the tile-based movement. Oh my gosh! Or like, relatively. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What an incredible cutscene. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Um. Oh my gosh, I'm losing help! Help! Loud dread! <laughs> We're jamming. Are you all right, Sunflora? Yeah, you saved me. Is that so? Good. Anyway, it's not like you to fall behind those guys like that. And again, you did just take a lot of damage. Only Flex Tape is gonna be able to fix that one. <laughs> I know, I just got here. I'm doing fine. <laughs> But, why are you here, Loudred? Huh? Why? To tell you all about flex tape! Oh. No reason. It's not because I was worried about you, said Flora. Chadot asked me to come check on you. That's the only reason, even though Chadot said everyone else was, like, busy. Only because Chadot asked you to? <laughs> What's that? You only helped me once, so don't get carried away. What's with that attitude? Got it. I'm not helping anymore. I'm not helping you again. <laughs> oh no, I've done it. After all, we weren't speaking to each other. But honestly, I was happy to see him. I really wanted to thank him, but for some reason I just couldn't say it. Oh, forget it. I'm mad at myself for not being able to say it. Just then... <laughs> Just in case you have memory problems, are you all right, Sunflora? Yeah, you saved me. Is that so? Good. Anyway, it's not like you to fall behind those guys like that. And again, you did just take a lot of damage, which is why I came here to tell you all about flex tape. I uh, know I just got here, so I'm doing fine. Is it gonna play the whole thing? Okay, not the whole thing back, but. Loudred was just being Loudred. He's really concerned about me. <laughs> what? I gotta remember that other time now. Wait a minute. Loudred. What Loudred said. No, don't free. You did just take a lot of damage. Which is why I need to tell you all about the incredible power of flex tape. To show you the power of flex tape, I saw this slugma in half. Oh, no, I just got here. So I'm doing fine. <laughs> Don't tell me, but but that would mean let me think back on it some more. I think it's connected to what I've been trying to puzzle out. <laughs> but, but up to now, I think I understand. Hunter says that he's invincible. That's a trick. <laughs> oh no. We never we didn't get to see the power of flex tape that Loudrun was gonna show us. Um but yeah. Uh, are the capital words meant to be hits there? Because that's also just the way that Loudred speaks. I appreciate the follow there, Witchy Sims. But yeah, um... But yeah, a lot of damage was a pretty popular meme, even you were expecting a flex tape joke. <laughs> my oh my. But yeah, flashbacks are not necessary unless there's a save point between the time of the flashback and the current time, or just like a whole lot of time has passed in general, I'd say. Like, uh... Like, Pokemon, as much as I love this game, it really does question your memory in a really dumb way. Oh, come on! 
My goodness. They were. I do I do remember what the answer behind Haunter's uh thing or blob is. Like it's been a while, but even that part I remember. At the ghost are you! I can go around corners with the gust trap? I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing, honestly. Didn't know that you could cut corners like that. Wow. Talk about life hacks right there. Now how about you just um Oh gosh darn it Um I don't know what's being referenced there. What is this? Okay. Okay. Um Yeah. That's a that's a good point there when it comes to save points. I'll get my health back from you now. Um But yeah, whoa, no yoink. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. The way that this game handles flashbacks is, um, definitely not exactly the best. Gosh darn it! Darn you! Darn you! But yeah, um, I'm serious that he has that one barbarian feature in D&D that lets you not die when you rage. One day I still need to play d and I Gosh darn you! I never have and I want to one day. I was thinking about potentially doing it with, uh, like maybe the mod team or something like that around this channel at some point just doing it in like I don't know tabletop sim might be a might be a fun escapade one day my goodness there's just a bazillion enemies now holy crap no don't you dare don't you dare do it wow that wasn't enough really well <laughs> see ya I guess see ya I guess so the stairs have gotta be over here right yep yep -aroo. Okay, you ain't I'll grab that money. But yeah, imagine a D&D dungeon master that does constant flashbacks. Yeah, that's what I should have. <laughs> if I ever, if I ever DM for some group, that's what I should just do, like, constant flashbacks. <laughs> so I learned how to be a dungeon master. Schnice. Schnice, schnice. Oh, cool. It's the checkpoint at Steam Cave. I've come pretty far. Hunter must be hiding just ahead. This time I'll most definitely catch him. Yeah, let's go catch that nerd there. Can't wait for Moe to become the world's best bard. Yeah, that's what I should, uh, <laughs> that's what we should do there. It's gonna be great. She, handsome Flora. I think she's still pursuing me. So persistent, good grief. That's right, she's a grass type Pokemon. So if I run away over there, <laughs> a guitar but also an axe. That's what I need. An acoustic guitar that has a axe on one end or something. My goodness, I used to have my acoustic guitar out here on the side at all times, but uh, but I was taking up space and I wasn't playing it super duper often. So I just have like my keyboard over there now that you can partially see with the uh, with the doggy cam and my uh. My guitar is in its case around the corner. Gosh darn you! What the heck? Okay. How about you just don't- This has got to go around corners, right? Yep. That's what I figured. I don't know if Mega Drain would. But I figured a Razor Leaf probably would. Cool. Yoink. I'll take that. Totter seed, cool. Now, ow. Yeah. Um. So I guess that's a thing from some from some other games out there that I'm not quite familiar with. Fun fact about Terraria is I technically own it. One of the previous mods of the channel gifted it to me a while back. I've I've never played it before. <laughs> is the is the thing. I think I mentioned they were gonna gift it to me. I was like, if you do, I'm probably not gonna be able to play it for 3,000 years because I have a bazillion other games to cover on the channel. And they're just like, I'm gifting it to you anyway. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I got gifted Terraria. So I have Terraria in my Steam library, but I've never really played it before. Maybe I should have healed some of my health there before coming to the next floor. I'm suddenly regretting this. My goodness, that landed. Okay. Yeah, I should have really healed some HP before going to the next, whoa, the next level is what I should have done. No, darn you. I do have a, you know what, screw it, I'm using it. I did bring one along after all. Oh, and I picked one up along the way, so may as well. Um, 
Yeah, I, I'm sure I'll do it one day. We've just got a bazillion other games to be doing on this channel at all times, is the thing. My goodness. No. No. Some people, some people sometimes ask me or wonder why there's like such long spans between the video essays that I put out. Number one reason is because more time on this channel than anything is spent on doing playthrough stuff like this than anything else. Like the, uh, the bazillion games that we cover are probably the single most time consuming thing about this channel for me. Second most from there is probably video essay making, most likely. Just because I like getting through a, getting through a bazillion games. And my whole my whole idea behind that is essentially just like, people ask me a whole lot of the time like, oh, can you cover X game or can you cover X game? It'd be really cool to see if you covered like so-and-so game. I just figured like the more games that I have covered as I continue to build up like the library of how many we've done, the more likely, gosh darn you, the more likely when somebody asks me if I can do a certain game, I can be like, hey, it's already done. You can find it here. Like we're already at like 130 something games total covered on the channel. Something like that. Here, I appreciate the 10 bits there, but like... <laughs> So that's my, uh, that's my silly reason behind that. Bam, I guess. Oh gosh darn it. This supersonic is gonna take me out, isn't it? Nose. Um, but yeah, so in the four years of doing this channel, we've already covered, you know, <laughs> at least 130 games is the thing. I believe it was 132 in the 10k subspecial that I did, but not all of them were like full, full playthroughs per se. So I don't know, you know, if every single one counts, but easily over 130 at this point, at least. Whatever, I'm taking the gamble. Wow, I'm so good. I got the one and eight, I guess. How long is this? Jeez. Oh, gosh darn it. I was to say, how long is this confusion gonna last? Holy crap. Um. Oh. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I, uh. <laughs> so, I'm just continuing to build up the library of how many total games we've covered and done a full playthrough of on this channel. Because it's, uh. It's real cool. When I was a. When I was a kiddo, I used to try to 100% as many games as I could that I'd play. Nowadays as a content creator, as an adult and a content creator. Now my new goal is just have as many full playthroughs done of as many games as possible. That's my, uh, that's my new goal here now. And my goodness, what a wacky, crazy road it is. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just see here. Um, <laughs> nice to hear there, Mortis, for the, uh, prior stuff. I'm only catching up on other chat stuff right now. Thinking over 3DS games to buy before the eShop closes. Any thoughts on the 3DS Mystery Dungeon games? Um, Gates to Infinity is really good, but also really bad. It's like, it's not a bad game. It just really pales in comparison to the other Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games is, is the thing. Like, I, I like to clown on Gates a decent bit, but at the end of the day, it is still a good game and it does like some, uh, some really fascinating things to the mystery dungeon formula it just kind of handles it like semi-poorly and it's just kind of weird and stuff super mystery dungeon i would say is almost as good as explorers like the only reason why i say it's probably not as good is because if you look really closely to the story i mean technically all the mystery dungeon games follow like the same kind of story format technically but i mean it does like especially in the case of in the case of explorers i guess um but, uh, I think I placed Explorers just a little bit higher just because of, like, it really helping me during a time that I could have used that, uh, that help and emotional support and stuff like that. Honestly, the story of Super is pretty much just as good as, uh, as Explorers. A lot of people like to clown on it because of its slow start and you being, like, in Serene Village and going on all these unrelated adventures with your partner for, like, a good while before you ever join the Expedition Society in that game, I believe it's called. But... I actually find that really fascinating how it does that because it actually creates the most believable relationship with the partner in the whole Mystery Dungeon series, I would argue. It's not just like, hey, take our word, they're friends now, essentially, like games like Mystery Dungeon 1 did. And Mystery Dungeon 2 improved on a lot, but still wasn't perfect. Um, Super Mystery Dungeon has, like, so many little arcs that happen before the main story starts, and a lot of people fault it as, like, a bad thing about that game for doing that before the main story starts. But the way that I see it, that just makes it develop like the most believable relationship between the player and partner of the entire series is seen. And something really fascinating that Super Mystery Dungeon does is I would argue that while Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 1, 2, and 3 of Rescue Team Explorers and Gates 
all have the player as the main character and the partner as the lead supporting character, I would argue that Super has the partner as the main character and the player as the lead supporting character. And I find that really fascinating. It's really cool. So it's like very similar to the other Mystery Dungeon games, but also very different in that way. So I, uh, so yeah, would recommend that. Super Mystery Dungeon is worth a play. Just know that it's by far the hardest Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Is it? I mean, yeah, I guess I can understand why it could. Well, if you rely on the wands, it's not too bad. If you don't rely on the wands, uh, well, yeah, I mean, the Super Mystery Dungeon relies a lot more on effective item use as uh, during the main story as it as it goes on and whatnot. Pokemon Essay is almost at a million views, almost 50k away. Jeez. That'd be really cool to have the first ever video of the channel hitting a million views. That'd be a uh, really cool. That f that sounds like something that I probably have to do something cool to like celebrate, but I don't know what I'd do. I'm all right doing this playthrough as like the 10k sub milestone. And it's funny, we started this playthrough for that milestone of 10k subs. Right now, at the time of streaming this, I think we're at like 12.7k. So like, even just during the course of this playthrough, it's already, you know... <laughs> Gone up a decent bit, which is really, really crazy. A lot of it being from like the BDSP essay and continuing to be off that initial uh, Pokemon essay. It's been really neat to see, and I uh, still don't know how to properly deal with it or react to things. I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah, Against Infinity is the weakest game in the entire PMD series. It's not a bad game, just not a great game like the others in the series. Yeah, I mean, there's some really cool elements of it to be respected, but I don't know. I feel like it kind of missed its mark in some of the ways. So there's a. Uh, there's that. There. Right there. Hunter is right there! In case, you, in case you didn't get it, when I saw there, I just first envisioned, like, Snake saying there as he blows up his C4. I found you! Hunter, I'm going to arrest you! You might as well give up! <laughs> You've been more persistent than anyone else who's tried to catch me. You're ridiculously stubborn, but it's still completely useless. Oh, you get it? I'm invincible! I have... I have proof that you're not invincible. What? There's no such thing as an invincible Pokémon. It was nothing but a ruse, right from the beginning. It wasn't invincibility or anything else, was it, guys? G guys What do you mean? You found this out? Yes. I figured out there isn't just one of you. Come on out, the rest of you. Ah! I knew it. You. I knew it. There isn't just one hunter. There's three. That time. When I knocked out Haunter. He's not moving. It looks like he's fainted. So I need to hurry up and apprehend him. Yay! Every time I try to arrest you, Haunter, there's always this sudden blinding light. For a moment, I couldn't see a thing. It was then, wasn't it, that you changed places? You disorient your opponents with a blinding light, while the two of you that were hidden would come out. You'd hide the haunter who fainted. Then one of you would feign innocence and pretend to be the haunter who'd fainted. Oh my gosh, it's so bright! I can't see a thing, despite the fact that your eyes are always closed. Oh my gosh! What? I just... I know I just knocked him out. Why is he suddenly fine? Ah, ah, ah. Did you see that? It's impossible to knock me out. That's how you got everyone to think you were the invincible Haunter. The exploration teams that have challenged you so far, Haunter. The moment they believed that you were invincible, Haunter, they would lost the will to fight. That's why the exploration teams were unable to apprehend Haunter. You've been deceiving exploration team after exploration team that way until now. That's how you always escaped. Yeah, I guess they're really squinty. <laughs> Looks like we're found out. Now that our secret has been discovered, we can't let you return. What? <laughs> Whoa, it flashed red! Spooky! Oh my gosh! Hot, 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 hot! <laughs> this is the spring cave pit. Lava flows directly beneath here. You've been incredibly persistent. Knowing that, we ran here. It's the best place to knock out grass type Pokemon like you. Brace yourself. Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> Loutred. Are you all right, Sunflora? <laughs> what? What are you doing here? Forget that. Here they come. Look out. That is hot, hot, hot. Hot. <laughs> well, um. Man, can I attack through Loudred? I wonder. Like. <laughs> Go start it. Darn it. So, um, so I'm um, about that. Wait, why am I not burned? Oh, because I got revived with the reviver seed is why. Okay, well, um, about that. About that. <laughs> Poor Loudred. No! Gosh darn it! They shouldn't be allowed to use confused. This is actually so dumb. Ah, uh, I'm still confused though. Oh, I did have that one heal seed, I guess. Let's see how you like it. Okay, nice. Yeah, you better cringe. So cringe worthy. Did you just post cringe? Okay, uh. So I, am I taking the gamble? Screw it. Here we go. Gosh darn you. Am I still confused? I have one last reviver seed. Did my confusion run out? I think it did, but like... <laughs> oh, this is dumb. Oh, this is really dumb. The Loudred has one HP is about to go down. Okay, let's just like... Um, you're just supposed to cringe, you're going to lose subscriber. Okay, yeah, you better be set to counter. Can you imagine if a mainline Pokemon game took place on a field like this where the Pokemon could reposition for attacks? What a wacky world that'd be, huh? Okay. You know Supersonic too! Okay, Bullet Seed. We can do this, right? Gosh dang, of course I only got the two. Okay. What health do they have?! Okay. I wasn't sure whether that was lined up or not. Apparently it is. Come on! Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> Posting cringe on your Twitch stream? It's more likely than you think. Oh my goodness. We just BS'd our way through that boss. Holy crap. Um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, though confusion is way more annoying in these games than it is in, uh, you know, the main series games. I give up. All right, we knocked out every haunter. Yippee, let's hurry and arrest them. Wow, that was, uh, that was a little bit painful, <laughs> I do have to say. Thank you very much, Zip. Zip the Hunter, the invincible hunter whom nobody was able to capture, was finally apprehended. Zip. Look at my cool mind ads. Shocking to learn that it was actually three Pokemon deceiving us. Zip. Furthermore, I'd call this brilliant arrest seeing through the deception. Zip. It was magnificent. That's to be expected from one of Wigglytuff's apprentices. You are all on a different level, Zed. No, you don't have to say that. This praise for you is making us blush, officer. You're not the one being praised, hey, hey. Sunflora, prepare to die. I mean, this is a thank you from me. It's, a, it's my own autograph. The floor received the sun scarf from Magnazone. Sun scarf was sent to storage. A sun scarf? This will help me against fire type damage. This exclusive item is a great treasure. 
my gosh, I'm so happy. Well then, thank you for your assistance. Cool Magna hands. All right, come along. We're taking you to the meme room. Attention, thanks to Sun Flora, she accomplished this arrest. You really did a great job. No, no, I must say, I didn't do it all by myself. Huh? Speaking of which, where's Loudred? Where is Loudred? Loudred? There's nobody called Loudred who's here. Noah. She's in trouble. She neglected his gatekeeper duties for the day and sneaked away somewhat to slack off. Huh? This was punishment. I sent him to Apple Woods to fetch perfect apples. Loudred. Chatot didn't really ask you to come help me. That's not true, Chatot. Huh? What is it? The truth is, Loudred. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought he was going to do a flashback again where he was going to tell us about flex tape for the whatever the heck time. What? Is that right? If that's the case, then Loudred also deserves recognition. I need to thank him. But... Gala, what is it? The guild rules are strict. The fact that Loudred left his post remains unchanged. Punishment is a punishment. Loudred's already left for Apple Woods. We'll only have to harvest perfect apples for today. <laughs> I don't know why, but when I saw that diary open and like the writing is super fast like that, the first thing that I imagined was just like one of those scenes from Death Note where uh, where like the epic music starts playing and lights rain down all the names and you just see like the scenes from different places in the world where all these people are having heart attacks and collapsing. Like I just imagine like the crazy orchestral music coming in right now. The do 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 like the what that's the dang it. This is the complete wrong screen. Gosh darn it. Sun floors <laughs> writing down all the names. Uh, creating sun flora. <laughs> I was telling scary stories in the next room. Harmonia and Kalexos are there, too. Do you want to join us, Sunflora? No, thank you. Right now, I'm writing in my diary. As far as you need to know. Oh, I see. Okay, come over when you're done, Sunflora. Krokunk had a really scary story. Yeah, I've got it. I'll be there shortly. Oh, Chimeko. Yes? Has Loudry returned to his room yet? Indeed, no. <laughs> Not yet, it seems. I see. See you. I have to hear the rest of the story. Just remembering it. Yeah, scary. <laughs> I just imagine Krokong's story in the other room. And that's when they introduce something they call the non-fungible token. I wonder if he's still gathering perfect apples. Loudred, I really need to apologize and to thank you. Before I... I didn't want to go to dungeons with you at all. I'm afraid I kind of blurted out things like that. Oh my gosh, I'm really sorry for what I said. I wish I could take all that back. I wonder if you'll go to dungeons with me in the future. I wonder if we... Can we be friends again? Anyway, as soon as Loudred's back, I'm going straight to him to apologize. I've got to tell him what I couldn't say then. Thank you. <laughs> that was today's oh my gosh. So, um, like, like I said before we got into this absolute storytelling masterpiece, clearly. Like, what can I even say? This is a, this is single-handedly the thing that really makes Explorers of Skies stand out as its own, as its own title. It is the absolute peak of gameplay, storytelling, music, all of it. I know some people are hyped about like some other games recently, like Elden Ring. Pfft, move over, Elden Ring. Today's oh my gosh is where it's at, okay? Like, let, it speaks for itself, right? Um, <laughs> well, but yeah, I'm very confused by the logistics of floor writing with their leaf hands. Yeah, I don't know how that exactly works, but somehow it, somehow it does. I was confused by the logistics of a Pokemon making a pencil. Is there a, uh, 
Is there a pencil factory? Is there a bunch of underpaid workers that also have like leaf hands and are struggling to put like graphite into pieces of wood? <laughs> like what's uh, what's going on here? Anyway. Wow. <laughs> what? Hey, what did you do to Explorers of Sky? Wow, I was uh, I was on character. That's what I did. That's that's what I was hired for. I was hired for character. That's a uh, it was a really important job. <laughs> anyway, well, there was that uh, there was that journey there. <laughs> she was she was sleeping. It seemed like I thought she was already awake. But I started petting her, and her eyes stayed closed. But then they shot open a second later. So she's like, "I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. I'm sorry." I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'll let you get back to sleep. Well, where was that? Hi? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jessie. <laughs> She's like, don't disturb me while I'm trying to sleep. She's so weird. She loves being near her family. She l She's like, I want to be close to you, but don't touch me. Is the way that she is. Like, she could be laying anywhere in the house right now and chooses to lay right here next to me. But it's like, don't touch me. Yeah, because you're weird, aren't you? Hmm? <laughs> Very strange antisocial doggy. Well, money and items obtained in the special episode will be stored in the Dusko Bank and King's Gun Storage, respectively. Yeah, we just take all of Sunflora's stuff there. Yeah, what did you do when you woke out Explorers? Wrote, worked out Explorers of Sky? I wrote all the dialogue for Waba Fett. No, the best one is to uh, say that you wrote the dialogue for like legendaries like Dialga and Palkia, for example. Or it's like, the boss needs you to write some more dialogue for Dialga and Palkia. It's like, got it. Caps lock on. Go and ham, you know? <laughs> okay, cool. There we go.